Now, you might think Justin J. Pearson just recently burst into the spotlight as an outspoken advocate, but again, you might have to think twice. Those who know him say he has been doing advocacy work for years. WRG's April Thompson spoke with his parents to find out more about where Pearson gets his passion. They say the fruit doesn't fall far from the tree. For Justin J. Pearson, that tree is his mother, Kimberly Owens Pearson, and father, Jason Pearson. Now they're getting attention, as many wonder where their 29-year-old son gets his passion. The inequities and disparities that were seen, and he lived through them, that's why he had uses his voice. They say Justin has been speaking up and speaking out since he was a kid, running for kindergarten and first grade president. So we go to school, we get up there, and Justin gives this speech. Mm -hmm. I look around, teachers were crying. His dad knew then Justin had something special, saying his son even led the push to get textbooks for his school. The Pearsons aren't shy about how they raised Justin, the fourth of their five children. His mother, a lifelong teacher and father, a longtime minister and pastor, point to the same disparities that have their son speaking out, like gun violence. The audacity to come and say that you want him to be silenced because you don't like him standing up for everyone, for gun control, that's asinine. Those of us that are around with voices, we got to say something. I-69, 26 names. And when state leaders voted Pearson out of the legislature, his parents couldn't believe it. I was pissed off. I'm standing there watching somebody attempt to humiliate my son because you disagree with him on an issue. You want to silence him? Now their son has become the face of a movement of change who says he won't back down. His parents wouldn't have it any other way. There are no principalities that will ever dim his light or his smile because he is who he is. And that's who he authentically is. And I always tell him, thank you for being authentically you. April Thompson, WREG News Channel 3.